Hey kids, welcome to Algebra 2 Pre-AP. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Butcher, and this is just an introductory video um, to let you guys know about how class is going to go this year. And the reason I wanted you guys to watch this video before school even started was um, because I wanted to explain the concept of the flipped classroom. Now, no, that doesn't mean we're going to take your class and flip it upside down. You don't have to know how to do any gymnastics, uh, but it is going to be a little bit different from what you're used to, and so I wanted to explain. In a normal math class, the teacher stands at the front of the room at the board with a marker or some chalk or, you know, in some higher tech classrooms, maybe it's a smart board or something, but it doesn't matter. It's still the teacher standing at the front of the room, talking about math, working through problems, and all the kids sit in their desk and they watch, and they're supposed to take notes, but they're probably not. They're probably playing on their phones, not listening, not getting the lesson, not paying attention. Um, some of them are. Some of them are listening. Some of the, some of you guys love this kind of, um, you know, the way school is. You, you're like, I, this is perfect for me. I just sit and listen. I learn, and that's it. That's all I have to do. And, uh, you know, that's okay. But for a lot of people, this gets really boring and not any fun. So what we're going to do is no more of me just standing up, blah, 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 at the front of the room. Instead, you're going to get out your phone or your tablet or your laptop or your computer or, I don't know, your TV, your PlayStation, I don't care, whatever it is you use to get on the internet when you're not at school, and you're going to watch the video that I have created each night. Each video is between 10 and 15 minutes long, and it is me teaching you the lesson um, with examples and explanations and things you definitely don't want to miss. Basically, my whole lecture that I would have given in class is given in a video. In a lot of these videos, I like to put cheesy math jokes or other cheesy, silly things for you to see. Um, but you have to take notes. You need to write it down. And I might ask you, you know, to write down what the joke was or, or write down a secret word or something. Um, and the next day, I'm going to check your notes in class, and you're going to get a daily grade on your notes. Um, it's easy because you're just copying it down. If you ha come across parts that you don't get, you write questions in your notes and maybe you highlight or just something so that when I come around and check notes the next day, you can say, hey, Ms. Beecher, I had a question about this. Or, hey, I didn't understand that. Um, or, you know, you talk to your friends or whoever you're more comfortable with. Um, but that's how your homework is going to work. So instead of sitting at home and worrying, stressing, looking at these problems, going, I don't get it, this doesn't make sense, and just, there's no, there's no stress at home. You're just going to take notes. It's easy. And then, the next day, you're going to come to class, and instead of having to sit and listen to me lecture, you're going to be in groups working on ap applying what you've learned in the video the night before. We'll be doing problems. Well, it's going to be math. It's not all fun and games, but we will do games, and we will have fun, and we'll be working together. You'll be working collaboratively with your friends and your classmates. Um, and I will be traveling around the room from group to group, checking on who did their notes and who has questions and who needs help and, um, you know, who totally gets it. And we'll be putting problems up on the board and we'll be demonstrating um, things that have to do with these problems. But it's going to take what you've learned the night before and it's going to take it a lot further than I could have taken it before if all I did was stand at the front of the room and talk about um, the, the math to you in the first place. Now, I know you're going to have lots of questions. How is this really going to work? How would this, what would happen if my internet went down? What would happen if this? What would happen if that? And you can ask me all those questions when we get to school. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know what we'd be doing, um, just to give you a little intro. Um, so that's about it. And I will see you guys on the first day of school. Thanks a lot. Bye.